Well, we just put this little swing together on the front porch. Last project of the day we just got done is a little after 8.30. Yeah. And then we go to go back inside, get it cleaned up, and the door's locked. <laughs> I guess I went inside to get some tools, and when I guess I did, when I, hit, I, I my hand must have hit the doorknob and locked the doorknob as, you came back as out. I came back out. And uh, when I closed it, it was locked. Yeah. Garage door is down. Back door is locked. All the windows are locked. It's 8.45 at night. Storm's coming. Yeah. And uh, locksmith can be here in about an hour. <laughs> so about dark. at least quarter to 10 before they can be here. Yeah. $145 it's gonna cost us. <laughs> so we don't just learn lessons the hard way in an RV. Mm -hmm. We learn lessons the hard way in life. In my defense, this was not a we. See, it was a you. I didn't know that I accidentally locked the I door. Know. And in the RV, we've never had to worry about it because we have the little code or the fingerprint. What? And we never could possibly get locked out of the RV. So it's not in my mind to check that before I close the door every time. We do have the automated little thing for the deadbolt. Yeah. That doesn't help us because the door knob is locked. Yeah. And all the windows are locked and everything. So, mm. yeah, there's good good lightning there. It's so good lightning. We might get wet, depending on which way the wind's blowing. We may have to move to the back porch. Yeah. But um, so we're gonna be in the dark, in a storm, <laughs> locked out of the house, and it's gonna cost us a bunch of money. Well, thank God Leslie had her phone out here, because if she wouldn't have had her phone, we'd have to like go to the neighbors and call a locksmith or something. We wouldn't even be able to film or anything but I'm gonna flip this camera around so you can see the storm that's coming our way for this locksmith oh yeah it's gonna get gnarly winds kicking and it's blowing right in my face so that storm's coming right at us I don't know how fast it's moving but um, there's some pretty wicked lightning going on in there there's a good one Woo! yeah I would say you're not going to believe this, but you're probably going to believe this. <laughs> so stupid. We called the locksmith. The storm totally missed us. It just like skirted us. We got a little sprinkles and yeah. stuff. It just got a great lightning show though. Yes, we did. So we're sitting out here, you put Netflix on your phone, Yeah. watch like a whole episode of This Is Us because we just started that not yeah. too long ago. And I'm like sitting there, I'm like, man, this really sucks. And I'm like... The guy calls us and he's like, and it's been an hour already. We've been sitting out here for an yeah. hour already. And the guy calls and says, I'm on my way. It'll be I'm, 30 minutes. It'll be a half hour. And I'm like, God, man, it's still another half hour. It's already 10 o'clock. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, you know, if I if I came out of the house and I just barely hit that that lock when I when I closed it, what if I just jiggle the shit out of it and maybe it'll, maybe it'll fall unlocked? <laughs> and I got to be honest, I, w I was... Uh catching up on some whatsapps yeah and and i hear you just and i'm like the mf -er is gonna break the doorknob and then we're really screwed but i jiggle it i'm just i'm shaking it i'm turning turning back and forth. I'm like, oh my god and pow it the opened door. up <laughs> it opened it's up so stupid <laughs> so we sat outside, we enjoyed an episode of This Is Us on Netflix. We watched an awesome lightning show. There was an owl sitting on the on the I pole know. here. We can't see him, it's dark now, but he's, he's still sitting I'm up there. I'm going to assume he's there every night, so tomorrow I'm going to try and get yeah. a photo of him. And, uh, man, I guess, I mean, it wasn't bad. No, but I'm and not And we didn't spend sweating. money, we didn't spend the money. Save some money. So that's good, man. But it's past 10, so it's, we got to go inside and take a shower. I, and yeah. it's too late. I'm tired. I'm not going to show you everything we did today. Tomorrow morning, as soon as we wake up, I'll walk around and show you everything that we've got accomplished in the last couple of days. Okay. Well, we're in the new house, and thank you to the sponsor of this video, RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. We've been traveling for three years in the RV, sleeping on our RV mattress. Mm -hmm. And it's just because of the sleep quality and the comfort. I mean, you just can't beat it. Top notch. And we would have brought with us, but it's huge and it's hard to get out of the rv well it's an rv king so. yeah and it's the wrong size we have a residential king now they have the best mattresses 
on the market, I think. We've slept on several different yes. brands throughout our years together, and this by far has been by one of the best. Far the best. I can't wait to get this open yeah. and sleep on it. And if you're kind of leery about it, or you're worrying about you know, the, the quality, or whether you like it or not, don't worry about that. They have a 120 night sleep trial. Yep. They will ship it to you free from their factory in Arizona, and there's a 10 year warranty. So if anything goes wrong, it's in 10 years, they'll replace it for you, no questions asked. Well, we've got some new, exciting news from RV Mattress from Brooklyn Bedding. We've always been able to save you 25% by using our promo code when you check out. But now we can save you 30%. Yeah, and that 30% will save you site-wide. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description of this video. Yep. Use promo code WAGS when you check out. Well, I told you I would let you know all the stuff we've accomplished in the last couple of days. And mowing the grass is one, even though we didn't mow it, we paid somebody to do it. We put together this little outdoor set that we have. We're gonna put some more stuff here, but we got that put together and set up. We got the new TV tray set, which we're using one of them right here as a table so we can sit and watch TV and put our drinks up there. Put together the dining room table, which has four chairs and a little bench on this side, which I'm using this now as my little computer station for the time being. We moved Scout, Scout was there, but we're gonna put a, a sofa or a love seat there and then the sofa or love seat here. So it's bigger than what we thought it was gonna be. So we moved Scout's habitat to over here. He's out running around right now. We got this entryway table put together and set up. So we'll put some stuff there. We're gonna have a mirror here with some stuff on the sides, some decorative stuff here and here. We got our new 70 inch TV, which we ordered online and it came and it was smashed. The whole front was smashed. So we had to box that back up, take it over to Walmart and exchange it for this one. That's gonna get mounted up here. And then we have an entertainment center with a fireplace built in that we're gonna put over in this area. The washer and dryer were delivered yesterday. So this is our new washer and dryer set. All set up and hooked up thanks to Home Depot. And we got the new front porch glider set up right here. That's a tandem and it rocks and stuff. That's where we were sitting last night when we got locked out of the house. And we were just looking out here. That's, that storm was coming from over there. And then there was an owl that was perched up on there. It was really cool. There's the bar stools that we put together. It's going to match our little farmhouse decor. We're doing all like whites and grays and natural woods. So you can see all the natural wood on top of the seats and on top of the countertops and then we're gonna have a hutch right here and then we'll have the gray living room suit and then the coffee table is gonna be white with a wood lid that you know rocks up and down so we've accomplished a lot I think in the last few days and that's not even including all the cleaning all the cleaning Leslie's it done. cost you zero, well, it cost you nothing but us some time to be a clean person. Yeah. I don't understand. It's rough. I hate today, did every window, not like the glass, the frames, mm -hmm. all windows, ledges, the, the sills, all wood trim in every room. Yeah. On my hands and knees, scrubbing with pine saw. Dang. So the painters can paint. <laughs> yeah, you can tell we're not hanging anything on the walls because we're waiting until all that gets painted. So that's why we haven't mounted the TV. We have a big clock that's going to go up here. We have stuff to go in the entryway. But we're not hanging up anything until we get uh, everything painted. Yeah. I need motion. <laughs> <laughs> My neck is killing me. Well, the RV is sold. Sold. Done. Done. So we're getting her prepared. We got to take Scout's habitat doors off of here and put the doors back unbuild all of his stuff get that back to normal and uh, get it cleaned up a little bit yep. so that when the new owners show up to take it should be ready to go yeah exciting wow. exciting stuff it is it's weird being back in here after five days yeah at the house yeah. you come back in you're like oh, man Memory. Yeah, it's been so long already. But should be missed. Yeah. We had some good times. Good, good times.